I hope you're all out there having the best day possible, and as always, I appreciate you taking a bit of time out of that day to actually watch one of my videos, and I hope this one will be a little bit more entertaining because I actually didn't even know this, but apparently, if someone gives you negative feedback on eBay, you can actually leave a reply for everyone else to see, and I'm assuming it's a chance for maybe you to try to like clarify with the person themselves, but of course messaging on eBay exists as well, so that wouldn't really be necessary, I don't think, if you need to reach out to them. I think it's more just a way for the seller to actually be able to clarify on any negative feedback that might be might have been misled or might just be something where the person was like literally trying to mess up their feedback score because it's not too hard to leave feedback on an item that you didn't even actually purchase and do the different things to exploit the system on eBay. So I'm guessing it's just a chance for people to be able to see like maybe if a review was negative and then the seller can actually clarify why the issue came up, you don't have to necessarily take it at face value. But it also led to something pretty funny because I actually saw a little reply that I think took things maybe just a little bit too far, and to be fair, the original uh, reviewer was a bit on the angry side, but this person definitely did not take it too well, and yeah, I mean, this absolute beauty was what unfolded. And like I said, if we are being fair, the original person was already a bit salty as it was. They said, you are what's wrong with eBay, so maybe not the best start to a review. You could save a lot of people's time if you provided actual photos of the coin and an accurate description instead of hiding behind a return policy. Your scam didn't work on me. But then, this is where the beauty really unfolds because obviously customers can say whatever they want because they're the ones that have the freedom to buy from whoever they want. And if this video does have any kind of point, it's just to say, if you are starting a small business, no matter how tempting it can be to get annoyed, even if you're in the right when it comes to these types of, uh, I guess, not even reviews, but just feedback and overall customer interaction especially, do not take the path that this person did. Now, they go on to say, this guy scratched up the coin really good before returning it to me, which would be a fair thing to say on its own, but then he says he is what is wrong with the eBay system. Can never talk bad about the buyers like him. So I, I don't know if they meant to say can never talk bad enough about the buyers like him, because that almost sounded like it went the other way. Like they would never talk bad about buyers like him, but I, I think they meant to say they can never talk badly enough. But then they say sellers beware of little trolls. That's where things really start to take a bad turn. Also, it was a $30 item that was won on auction, which talking about the value of the item, if it genuinely had a problem, obviously it doesn't matter. You still need to deliver on that, excuse me. And then they say, I have blocked him. I would suggest any other seller does the same. Sweaty little troll just looking to hurt someone. And yeah, again, insulting the person who is your customer or was your customer, regardless of whether they're going to buy from you again or not, it just is something that speaks really poorly. And I know this is an eBay seller, so they don't really have any like actual reputation that a business does, but you still have an eBay store. These are still things that anyone can see. Like I literally saw this at the top of their feedback. So, and I was looking through the reviews because I wanted to see if they were a seller I should consider buying from or not. And after seeing this, it made me realize, well, if I do have any issue with this person, it doesn't seem like it's going to go over very well. And I myself have now been convinced not to buy from them just as an example of how something like this can actually hurt you. But that is it for this quick little video. If you did find yourself enjoying it, consider sharing with a friend who might feel the same beyond that dropping a like and a comment are things that can actually boost this video in the algorithm and if you want to subscribe to the channel i do post a decent amount of silver related content but i promise i will be branching out i want to do more financial content in general i just only want to talk about things that i actually understand enough to actually be able to make good points on obviously so i have a lot of learning myself to do when it comes to the world of finance but that can be a process that hopefully we can grow together in with that all being said though that is truly it for this one peace